manifestation of disease due to disease we are not able to do our work properly can you tell us what is a disease disease is an abnormal condition that affects the function of some or all organs of an organism in a negative way let's understand it we know that different tissues in our body combine and form different organ systems for example in the digestive system the stomach and intestine performs the function of digestion similarly alveoli in respiratory system exchange gases in this way in each organ system a specific organ performs a specific function but when there is a disease in the body then one or several organ systems are unable to perform their function changes are seen in those organs like headache dizziness cough swelling and many more these changes are called symptoms suppose a person has a headache then the doctor will know that he is suffering from a headache only when person will tell the doctor therefore only patient can experience symptoms the expression of symptoms of disease is called manifestation of disease if someone has a headache then it may be due to cold stress meningitis and many more therefore from symptoms we get to know that there is a disease but from symptoms we cannot know that it is which disease therefore on the basis of symptoms doctor looks at the signs of disease and identify the disease signs of disease such as swelling fever can be identified by a doctor to ensure the identification of disease physicians can also do some laboratory test now let us understand the organ and tissue specific manifestation in detail we know that our body is much larger than that of microorganisms different microorganisms causing disease can enter the body by different modes and can live in the body for example bacteria that cause tuberculosis enters in the nose via air and grows inside lungs and the bacteria that causes typhoid enters via mouth and grows in the intestine therefore the microorganism will live or grow in which organ or tissue depends on from where the microorganism enters in the body but this is not always the case for example hiv virus enters the body via sexual organs and grow inside white blood cells similarly malaria causing protozoa enters through mosquito bite and lives in the liver and after that grows inside red blood cells if microorganisms live in lungs that is lungs are the target then the symptoms will be cold difficulty in breathing cough etc similarly if the liver is the target then the symptom will be jaundice when the target is the brain then the symptom will be headache dizziness unconsciousness therefore sign and symptoms of disease will depend on the organ or tissue which the microbe targets that's why on the basis of signs and symptoms we can know which tissue is the target
the immune system in our body protects us from diseases when an infection occurs the immune system becomes active and forms various cells these cells migrate to affected organs or tissue and kill microorganisms this process is called inflammation due to inflammation local effects such as swelling and pain and general effects such as fever occur therefore infectious diseases have organ and tissue specific symptoms along with other common symptoms hiv virus lives in the cells of the immune system and destroys them because of this we cannot fight with small infections in this situation common cold and cough can cause pneumonia and intestinal infection can cause major diarrhea with blood these other infections cause the death of the patient in this way in some diseases tissue specificity of infection shows very general effects we should keep in mind that when the number of microorganisms entering the body are less then the manifestation of disease will be less and if the number of microorganisms entering the body is large then the disease can be severe and it can be life threatening therefore the severity of disease manifestation depends on the number of microbes in the body and the immune system present in the body determines the number of living microorganisms inside the body so today we have learned about manifestation of disease Thank <laughs> you.